guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here my name is Daniela and I'd love for you guys to stick around in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been doing this tousled wave look I've been wearing my hair like this in my recent videos and I've just been doing it on a weekly basis and I just really like the way it looks I feel like it showcases the highlights more. It looks soft and delicate. And I want to share with you guys the routine. It's super simple. It's only a few products and one hair tool to achieve this look. So if you guys are interested in getting this hair look, then just keep watching. But before we jump into the video, I do want to ask that you hit that red subscribe button down below as well as the bell icon that just keeps you guys notified with all of my recent uploads. And now let's jump into today's video and I'm going to show you guys how to get these curls. You can tell my hair is already blown out. I went ahead and used my Revlon One Step and Styler Styler. I think that's the name, but... All I did was apply my leave-in conditioner as well as my WOW um, humidifying spray. I'm going to tag them down below. They are amazing products. I feel like every time I use them, my hair always comes out nicer. Like I could step out like this and be good, but I just prefer curls because I really want to show off the highlights. And I feel like when I do curls, it definitely does a great job at doing that. So I just want to prep the hair once again. I'm going to go in with a few pumps of the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. I've been using this stuff for years and I just apply two pumps and really work that into my hand. I think I applied too much. So I'm going to just get rid of that. But I always apply this to the ends and really like work it up just slightly at the root. I just find that this helps add shine to the hair. I did pick up the Wow um, Shine Spray. I saw somebody talk about it in a YouTube video and I know that it helps really add some shine to the hair. So it should be coming in sometime later today. So I'll probably touch up my hair tomorrow and apply that. So I'm excited. But as you can tell, it just kind of smooths the hair out. It helps with frizz. And really, I could just step out of the house like this. It looks sleek. I like the way it looks, but as I said, I'm going to curl my hair. So the curling iron that I've been using as of late is from the brand T3. I know a lot, a lot of influencers talk about this product or this brand. I actually found this at Costco and I was so surprised. I had no idea that they were actually sold in stores. I believe this is the one and a half barrel, um, one and a half inch barrel or half inch barrel. I'm going to list it down below. I have the box somewhere in my house, but I've really, really been enjoying it. It's just a really great curling wand and I find like my curls just look really nice when I use it and it's definitely a good quality product and at first when I picked it up I had no idea how to turn it on you just have to turn the bottom and then these lights will light up to show you that it's on so now I'm going to oh my god probably going to burn my furniture but I'm going to just throw some of my hair up and we're gonna get started I like to think that my curling routine is simple. So what I do is I just first put the hair into two sections and then depending how thick they are, yeah, I'm going to do another two sections out of them and I just keep the wand facing away from my face and just do the curls opposite direction, if that makes sense. I just like to leave that in just for a few seconds. And then I just drop that down and like I just let it come out of the barrel. I'm not too precise with the curls because I do like a tousled look and I like it to look imperfect. Then again, I'm just gonna grab that small section of hair, 
Curl it about once or twice around the barrel. Let it sit for a few seconds. Take a quick sip of coffee. And then just let it fall out of the barrel. So we're gonna repeat that step on this, my right side. So as you can tell, I take a very a pretty decent sized amount, a pretty decent sized amount of hair. And that just wrapped around twice. I'm gonna leave that in for a few seconds until it's ready to release. in again and I basically repeat the same pattern throughout the whole hair um, now we're gonna go in and grab another chunk of hair on both sides my god I ordered a color kit from my hairstylist because my roots are looking crazy. I know I did a day in the life video where I did my roots, but I don't know. It didn't stick. I definitely need a stronger product, so I am going to be doing my roots. So now I just go to the, grabbed another section of hair. This is a little bit more hair, but I do want to get just more product. And then as you can see, I just kind of loosen the clasp ring it around twice i'll leave that in for a few seconds and i'm going to show you what i do with the end of, with these ends to smooth them out okay so now i'm going to just loose i'm going to let go slightly of the clamp but i'm going to let the ends kind of run through it and that just helps smooth them out so they don't kind of look like they're just sticking out and look kind of like dry or wilted. Now I'm going to do the same here. I have a ton of breakage around my crown. I think that's kind of normal when you do your hair, especially if you apply heat. And I do put my hair up, so I know I've been warned not to do that, but I just, you know, my hair is looking dirty it needs to go up in a bun but yeah now i'm going to do the same thing with the ends i'm just going to bring that through the end of the wand and that just helps smooth it out if you guys can see that's a that's a good curl this curl i definitely could separate it and i'm basically going to fast forward the rest of my hair and kind of just show you guys when we get to the center or to the roots, how I do it, which is basically the same. So just keep watching.
I am choosing a section, I always just like to brush it out with my hands and kind of just smooth it out. Because I feel like if you go just straight in without doing this, your hair is not going to go into the clamp as evenly. Or smoothly. And then loosen the clamp and just let that curl go. And then we're going to continue. Now we are at the root so i want to show you guys how i curl my hair in the front the same exact technique i've been doing or should i just stick with this you know um but once again i just brush the section out so when it, my hair goes into the clamp it's smooth okay so usually i split the top section into three so this is going to be the back curl. I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit. Then I'm going to put the hair and clamp it, pulling away from the face as we've done with the rest of the hair. Letting that sit a little bit since this, these pieces of hair are longer than my back pieces. I do put a lot more hair in there. I just let it sit for a few seconds. Then I just release the curl and boom. Now I'm gonna do this next piece. So I'm just gonna separate these two, brush it out. Front piece. I like to just bring it to the root to kind of smooth it out and just curl away. And I don't leave it on there too long. I just let that go. And that's what it's going to look like when you're done. You're going to look like a little poodle, but once you finish the hair off, it's going to look good. I like to brush the curls out. So really quickly, I'm just going to finish this side and then I'll show you guys the final step. I went ahead and grabbed this wet brush. All I'm going to do is just brush it out just a little bit. Oh my God. Brush it out a little. And I just like to kind of mess around with it. Okay, that's not what we want it to look like. You kind of have to just play around with it and see where you like it. Um, I usually do this at night so that in the morning the curls fall and just kind of look a lot more natural. So Another tip is to apply like these clips. I apply them right here. And then I let that sit for a few hours. It won't dent your hair, but it kind of just stops the curl from looking like super bouncy at the top because that's not the look I like. So what I'll do is just leave this in for a few hours. I'll have dinner or whatever the plan is for the night and then in the morning then i'll take them out sleep on it at night and then the curls will drop and just give you like this nice tousled look 
I just played around with it, I brushed it out more, and I just styled it a little bit more. And that's the key with doing your curls, is to just continue just working with the curl to achieve the look that you want. So, as you saw, I did have to brush it out, have to smooth the front out, and just like play with the curls to get your desired look. So this is like a nice, loose, wavy curl. It's going to look a lot more relaxed tomorrow, especially like this big guy. Um, which I typically like a second day curl. I just feel like it looks more beachy, more natural, and just like effortless. But these are the steps that I take to achieve that look. I've been doing it in my most recent videos, and I feel like it just really helps showcase the highlights that I have in my hair. And I was just getting tired of just having my ha hair just straight all the time. I do like the way it curls just look on my hair that's a tutorial to get this loose tousled wave i really hope you guys enjoyed it as always i'm going to link all the products that i use in my hair if you did enjoy today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already it would mean a lot to me don't forget to share with a friend if you think they might enjoy it too as always i want to say thank you guys Love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe and have a good one. Bye, guys.